I, I guess there's, there's two schools of thought about it. One is that is that programming is, is an engineering discipline, and the other is that it's an art. It's part problem solving and part sort of artistic expression. Instead of thinking about an individual line of code or an individual note in a piece of music when you play it, uh, you don't do that. You think about what's sort of between the breath marks. See, I see, I see uh, a good programmer as being the same thing as a good author, a good a, a screenplay writer, a good script writer, a, play, a good playwright. The, a playwright is a programmer. A playwright takes characters and creates a story behind them. He takes things that are there and, and has them do things. Um, and I think it's the same thing with programmers. Programmers take things that are in the environment and make them do interesting things. It's like uh, Fantasia when Mickey is standing over the the book that's open on the mountain and he's looking in to see what to do and he does something. He doesn't really know what he does, but it makes something happen. And of course that thing gets out of control and keeps going. And that's the way the first program you ever write works. You don't know why it works. You don't know how it works. You just push a button and it works. I think people see today programming as very much a, a technical, very scientific kind of endeavor, when in reality, um, as we go forward in the future, I think it will be seen as much more of a creative ende endeavor. Writing software is different from um, selling real estate. Selling real estate, you sell to people, the people are asleep at night. When they go to sleep, you have to stop selling real estate. Computers never sleep. It's different from manufacturing cars. Manufacturing cars, you do the exact same thing on the assembly line. It's different from filing books in a library. It's different from everything you can imagine. It's like art for money.